All right, Spindle Tap. They had a lot of beers coming out. I'm really trying to grab a few of them before I even really knew about them. Uh, they were really known for their Houston Haze. So they're in Houston, obviously. And that was an IP, hazy IPA that people loved. It was like 10%. It was ridiculous. When I got it, it was a tall 16-ounce can, I think it was. But it was amazing. And that kind of opened me up to more IPAs. Because once you actually have ones that are tasting, you're like, oh, I just want to drink more. It really helps you get past the ones that kind of like run you off. Uh, this thing, though, is for some reason, I don't know, just don't mess with Texas. My first impression, I thought it was a lager. Because they didn't put it on the can. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, not a big deal. Love it. Great concept. Been around for a long time. I get it. Um, I did a first video, but it turns out it's a wheat beer. So um, I really knew, not just by the body, the kind of flavors you get from wheat beers are usually a little sweeter, more citrusy or tartness can come into it. But just with the body, you get this rounded uh, malt, not the malt, you get the grain and the hops together seems more like fruit, but this one came off a little sweeter. <laughs> It's not my favorite. I don't hate it. Just I hung out with my buddy for his birthday, so it might be I need to relax. Um, I was gonna bring this to party, so I don't know how they feel about it. Wheat beers are hit or miss with everybody. I'm not big on like wheat wines or what do they call them? Uh, barley wines. I'm not a fan of those. Uh, it gets very sugary. The crazy part is they always have hops because they're balancing the sweetness. But hops will and can die off over time. Uh, but they can also like change and become different. You know, the complexity is complex because you have the flavors you can't really get your you know taste out of. And the ones that are just dominating. So it really happens as they go down, the ones that dominate start to mellow out and you hit this middle ground. That's why some people love to um, age their IPAs are really intense. Um, they can definitely age for a couple years and it does tone them down in an aspect, but it also makes them more vibrant because now you're getting everything else. So this one's a little hazy because it's a wheat beer. Definitely a lot of uh, proteins in there. That's why you get those beautiful bubbles. So be careful when pouring. Wheat beers for me have always been an issue on pouring. <laughs> I tried to pull it off like the bars so in Germany, they have bottles and they're like, boom. And they do something and then all of a sudden they're just like tilting it out and you got a big old um big old glass of wheat beer and it's awesome and i try to do it i just ended up with that so for me this is more casual drinking the ones they do i don't know what it is they do different but the, like if you get too much foam you're gonna be sitting there for a minute this is actually going away pretty quickly so that's me know it's a little lighter you're gonna get more medium body the aroma yeah you get the sweetness almost lemony you get that funky actual like probably like pilsner kind of yeast smell so some smells you'll think it's from the grain or the hops but a really a big factor is actual yeast and the way they're raised they the different uh, amounts of gases where they ferment whether it's bottom or top they have this natural smell that just is part of it so really the beer what you're getting is some of the yeast so some people just never like beer and they'll just try to find what it really probably is they don't like the yeast flavor and uh it's not the whole thing but it is a good portion of it for pilsner it's very distinct so i'm not always a a pilsner fan uh, for some most sweets not bad they're usually top fermenting they have a slight funk they can be a little cleaner a little citrusy uh, this one overall looks like a solid beer i can see where it's more of a texas style one it's lighter more enjoyable if you were to go north where it's colder you probably get some real wheat beers because that'll you know help you warm up your blood a little bit getting that thick grain in you so that was the aspect behind it. you know eat a little more hearty in the winter time eat lighter in the spring and summer but now you can eat hearty all year round so anyways it smells great it's vibrant you get the grain malty barley kind of sunrise <laughs> swaying in the wind that funky background yeast and some super um, fruitiness and tartness probably from the hops and also what the yeast and together with that. So they're kind of connecting with each other. It's one beer, but they got all these different things going on. So it has more body feel than your like lager or ale. It's like, it's a uh, lighter than a wheat, wheat beer. Like when I had Hefeweizen and Kristallweizen in Germany, it was pretty hardy at the time, but I wasn't paying attention. Now having them, I can see where some are thinner, some are lighter, but also do kind of, it's weird. You don't want to shake your can, but you want to tilt it 
and just agitate it enough that if there's any solid particles in the bottom, you want them to come out. There was some, luckily it all came out fine. This is a fresher beer, but they will get stuck in the bottom. So if you're doing wheat beers and you like them already, just give it a nice little turn around, let it do its thing, let it sit back down, and then pour it. And all those little tiny wheat granules, little proteins left over, will make it a little bit more heartier, a little more flavor. Just something that when they see, you don't know, if you got the date on it, then you know how long it's been sitting, but usually you don't know how long it's been sitting. Um, I forget to do it sometimes and the beer will be clear. And then I get to like the third one in the six pack and it's like, oh, there's stuff in the bottom, you know, like, whoa, you know, that changes the flavor profile. So it is something to try and pay attention to or to look out. Uh, for luckily for right now, I had this great job, Spindle Tap. You make every beer solid. I love this. Honestly, I drink this over as, uh, was that, Fireman 4? Four. Fireman 4 is pretty good. But this is a little more, a little more gusto. So, but overall, you know, that's all you have. Drink Fryman Four, things like that. These are, there's a few wheat beers. Blue Moon's pretty good, but it was made by a real guy from Europe, and then he broke off and he made Celis. So, it's Mr. Celis, thank you, because honestly, those were pretty solid beers. All the Celis beers, and Blue Moon and Halgarten. Halgarten is in German. It's not Hogarten, as everyone promises it is. Anyways. Those are the ones to look for if you're trying to check out wheat beers. And here's a new one by Spindle Tap. So check them out. I love it. Thank you. Thank you for checking me out. You have a good night.